on, Mother dear. Let's get you comfortable. Uh, on, get some rest. Okay, I'm all right. Uh, okay. Uh, where's my granddaughter? Uh, Kubra? Coming! Kubra, I brought you some soup. It'll help warm you from the inside out. Here, why don't you give me that? Uh, can you bring Aleph to see her? Uh, uh, Daria, will you make sure she eats her soup? <laughs> has something happened to Aleph? Huh? Uh, has something happened to no, Aleph? Nothing has happened to Aleph, mother. It's okay. No, she's just fine. Don't you worry about her. She'll come and visit you very soon. I don't want it. Her meals are always so flavorless. So what is it? Amir, I need to tell you something, but I don't want you to get angry, okay? <sighs> okay, what is it? Mm -hmm. Yigit took the baby. What, what do you mean? He was angry because she fell down. So he took her from the hospital. He said we weren't capable of caring for the baby, and I tried chasing him in a taxi, but I couldn't catch up to him. He said that we couldn't take care of her? He actually said that about us? Yigit hasn't put her to sleep even once or covered her when she was cold or fed her or even changed her. He was worried when he saw her at the hospital. Cooper, what are you even saying? Cut it out, okay, for God's sake. I'm bringing Elif back but here. Amir, it's not up for discussion. What's the matter with just, you? But just stop. Calm down. Maybe it's a good thing. Maybe this way he might warm up to his daughter and, and learn to love her. Maybe this will finally make him a father. All right. All right, fine. Kubra, we've been trying to get Yigit to change for months now. We've done everything to try to get him to warm up to his own daughter. But Yigit didn't even look in her direction even once. He didn't even want to give the baby his last name. But now, all of a sudden, he decided to be father of the year, really? I mean, whatever. But look, Amir... This is very unfair to me, Kubra. You understand that? Look, I'm not surprised. Yigit always does this to me. He always has and always will. Do you know the reason he did it? He did it because he's jealous of the happy life that we've created together with the baby. Not because he loves the baby or because he wants to be a father. He did it because of you and me, Kubra, and because we're living as a happy family. So, you're still in love with Yigit, aren't you? That's fine. Cooper, look at me for a moment. Love has made you blind to the obvious facts. To point out where you're not thinking properly, Cooper. You're not making rational decisions. You can't see the effort and sacrifices I've made for her. You know that I love that baby. And I'd do anything for her. Elif is my daughter, and she always will be. For shame, Cooper, really. Taking care of a baby is a piece of cake, huh? Right? How oh, beautiful you are. <laughs> you guys can go. My daughter and I are gonna sit here peacefully for a while. How can a baby sit that peacefully? 
She'll start crying soon enough. No. She's getting used to me. You're treating her like she's a kitten, but she's not. And you'll learn that very soon. Yeah, okay. <sighs> Let's get going then, man. My mother must already be worried. You know how she gets. Elif. Elif, sweetie, bye-bye. Look, take care of your daddy, okay, dear? <laughs> to calm him down, just pat him gently on the back in circles like that. Otherwise, he'll get very cranky and start to shout. <laughs> Go on. All right, see you later, man. <laughs> How beautiful you are, my darling. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. There, 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 there. What is it, Daria? What the hell do you think you're doing? Huh? You seriously took the baby away? Cobra's heart is breaking over here. Amir is about to self-combust. He just argued with Cobra, and now Amir is taken off. And your mom is just lying there. You've been telling me to accept this baby as my daughter for months now, right? Well, you've gotten your wish, dear. Tell me, how is my mother doing? Uh, I couldn't go over because of Elif today. She's fine. They finally allowed her to go home. But she was asking to see Elif. Look, you get... Things are gonna be a nightmare like this. Then let it. I'll figure it out later. Don't get involved in family business, okay, dear? <sighs> the kid is fine. She's doing well over here. But I'm going to have to leave you now because she's waking up. Okay? I'll talk to you later. Aww. Shh, shh, shh. There. There we go, dear. <laughs>